So let me solve this problem. A circular rod of diameter 20 mm and 500 mm long is subjected to a tensile force of 45 kN. The modulus of elasticity of steel may be taken as 200 kN per millimeter square. Find stress, strain and elongation of the bar due to the applied load. So here diameter of the rod is 20 millimeter and length of the rod is 500 millimeter and it is subjected to a tensile force. So P it is 45 kilonewton. So convert this kilonewton to newton. So it will be 45 into 10 raised to 3 newton because already we know 1 kilonewton which is equal to 1000 newton. Clear. Next, Eng's modulus it is 200 kilonewton per millimeter square. So convert this kilonewton per millimeter square to newton per millimeter square. So it will be 200 into 10 raised to 3. Okay. So it is required to calculate stress, strain and elongation. So we know the basic formula. So that is stress equals load divided by area. So stress sigma which is equal to P divided by A. So once you know the diameter you can easily calculate the area. So area A equals pi d square divided by 4. So here diameter is 20 millimeter. So pi into 20 square divided by 4. So area you will get 314.15 millimeter square. So stress equals load divided by area. So load it is 45 into 10 raise to 3 Newton divided by area 314.15 millimeter square. So if you simplify this you will get stress sigma as 143.23 Newton per millimeter square. So this is the first answer stress. So let me find the second answer. So second is strain. So for which we know the Hooke's law. So Young's modulus E equals stress divided by strain. So Young's modulus E equals stress sigma divided by strain epsilon. So to calculate strain, so epsilon equals sigma divided by E. Okay. So here sigma in the last step we got 143.23 Newton per mm square. And Young's modulus of the material 
200 into 10 raise to 3 Newton per millimeter square. So here numerator and denominator get cancelled. So you will get strain as 0 0.7161 into 10 raise to minus 3. It has no unit. Strain has no unit. So let me find the elongation. So to find the elongation you have the formula delta L equals P L divided by A E. So here P is load 45 into 10 raise to 3 Newton multiplied by so length of the material is 500 millimeter. So cross sectional area. So it is 314.15 mm square. Okay. And Young's modulus. Young's modulus of the material is 200 into 10 raise to 3 Newton per millimeter square. Clear. So if you solve this. You will get elongation delta L delta L as 0 0.358. So unit will be millimeter because here millimeter square, millimeter square get cancelled, and here Newton, Newton get cancelled. So unit will be millimeters. So let me list the final answers. So first is cross sectional area of the material is 314.15 mm square. So sigma stress equals 143.23 Newton per mm square. Next strain epsilon equals 0 0.7161 into 10 raise to minus 3 next elongation delta l equals 0 0.358 millimeters okay